available. All right, so if it's currently unavailable, we just want to return available. Oh, that's terrible. But I do want to actually print this stuff, though. I, I want to see for myself. Make want to make sure. So it's good to put these random print statements here to log your information. So doo -doo 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 -doo. this is like how I tag it. All right, and available. That's it. All right. So now, if it isn't, or if it is available, we want to get the price. All right. So the F, of course, it, it formats the string, so I can just, you know, use curly brackets to type it without having to do extra stuff. And again, we use available. Now, the, the thing is, when when you had, it's still coming to you as a string. So there was a part where we wanted to determine, you know, if the price is uh, like if it's above or below a certain amount. So in order to compare a number, you have to convert it to that. So when we return this value, we want to convert it to a float uh, number, which would I mean be like a dollar. Um, we can't compare like a, like a dollar sign and something. So we will need to actually get the string version, or not the string, but the actual number, in this case, a float um, decimal number, right? So in order to do that, you can take any string and treat it like an array. So if you want to get the first number or the, the second element. So this would be zero, one, two, three onwards. So we don't want this one as zero. We, so we, this is what we do want. So we want the second to first uh, element onto the last. So it'll give us basically this. Right? And the float is converting it into a decimal, All right? which would make it easy to compare. So that's that function. Method, damn. Oh, oh darn. Uh, so I do want to check if it's too much. See, I was trying to figure out if it is too much. Okay, so if it is too much, let's let's do this. Elif, um, boom, 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 boom. So what we may want to do is actually take this self dot is available on the product. And we actually want to localize that variable. All right, so let's do uh, Yeah, it's product available. Ooh, no, nah, I have a function named that. Uh, so nah, let's just keep it as available. All right, so we want is if available is, let's say, greater than, say, limit price underscore limit. simple and then we can go up here and then give us the price limit so let's say it's seven hundred dollars yeah yeah so if it's less than or equal to seven hundred yeah let's go ahead and buy it else it's just not gonna do anything it's just going oh, oops I don't know. uh you can handle it if you want to but yeah we'll cross that bridge when we get there all right, so we can replace this variable. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, if it is available. Yeah, because if it if it is too much, then what do we want to do?
I guess loaded again, huh? Nah, uh, well, yeah, okay, nah, yeah. So, so if if it is too much, then we just want to. Um, hmm. You know, hey, let's let's just I try it again. Yeah, let's try it again. And of course, I think we should sleep it before we do that. All right. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we have. So we have our sign in. We find a product. Sign in. Blah blah blah. And okay, so now I think I think we're good. We just need to actually call this bad boy. Um, oh no no no. Okay, so we want to close the browser, right? Because if you don't, it's just gonna like stay up and, and take up memory and all that. Browser. All right. So this is simple. You just self dot. Uh, oh yeah, driver dot. Close. No, we're not localizing the driver because I mean it's, we're, we're just closing it. That's it. That's that's it. Let's make it put some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's add some more comments. Available. Say global link. Sign in. Oh. <laughs> so these are document strings. So when you're calling it, it actually. Uh, Um, when you're calling it, it actually shows the description of it. So like, let me give you an example. Yeah, finds the product with global link, see? I like that. And that's all because you typed it here. So it's just good naming conventions. All right. All right, so now we need to call our main method. So. Is like if the okay yes name equals is it name yeah so so this just if we run the file as is it, it's going to do you know etc so in this case it's called a shot bot here hmm. Oh, let me see something real quick. Um, methods. All right, all right. So we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So now let's let's see if it works now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me. Okay. Let's actually run it. Okay, I really don't know how to show this without it being weird. So you're gonna get a big black box. Yeah. All right. If you see here, we're at the uh, icon. We're at the the test. All right. And it's like gonna pop up right right here. Oop. Let's see what it does. So it's like 
automatically doing stuff. Like I'm not really, I'm just dragging the screen. That's it. That's it. Yay, hit my data. Yeah, so as you see, it goes to this part here where it would actually place your order. And typically you would place or place your order here, but wait, wait can I remove this now? Delete, delete. All right. Um, so you see here, it got the price and it hit the tag, place order. And um, I mean, of course, I, I commented out the actual place order because I'm not buying that, no. Um, but again, this is code here that you can tweak for your own. And so my little brother, I did it. Ah, there is something to go. Ah, ah. Anyway, live free.